to your FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday here. I believe it's the 23rd. Yeah, 23rd of July. The calendar's a little more busy today. We've got CBI. Um, industrial order expectations out of the UK. And then we have existing, existing home sales. Um, out of the U.S. Plus this evening we start with the Aussie PMIs and, and the Yen PMIs. Tomorrow we get firmly into gear with uh, European PMIs. Dollar took a little bit of a leg higher last night. Let's start out this Euro dollar chart. Kind of broke this head and shoulders pattern. No one was really watching, no one was really trading, just kind of eased through 04, those lows overnight in Asia, down through 99. Here we are, 90, 91. Um, I mean, it looks mildly constructive. It's hard to, hard to get excited about any of these moves because FX just doesn't have the gas recently. So is this going to follow through? Technically, it should. Pretty big neckline here. Definitely through. Um, I guess the next important point is 111.82. Uh, we are not short euros. Uh, maybe that's also a good sign for, for euro bears. Uh, we're just watching this for now. More of a focus for us this morning is dollar CAD. We've been talking about this um, 131.45 area for a while. We talked about how this just looked like it wanted to turn. We broke back up through 131 the figure and now since 30 this last hour, here we are at 37, looks like we're going to get through this 45 area at some point today. We don't really have um, any CAD specific news today, so we'll be watching Euro Dollar. Uh, we'll be watching its cousins, Aussie and Kiwi, to give us a little idea on whether this is going to have the energy. But we like dollar uh, CAD longs today. We want to try and get some on a bid probably between 30 and 15. CAD longs look, look decent. That said, uh, CAD Yen also still looks decent short. We talked about this since this 8270 level. Um, it's kind of been up and down, but we bearish engulfed again yesterday. This looks set to go even further. Um, if you are still short, you can actually add through 82 the figure. Um, seems likely that this this could easily head right back down to this 80 level. As we are uh, bearish risk, we're just waiting for catalysts. Cad yen lower um, looks decent. Looks decent. Let's take a look at this euro sterling. Everyone has this drawn. We're just waiting to see if this is complete. Shoulder head. We're on the right shoulder here. Traded up to the figure yesterday. Uh, don't really know. Back through the figure looks like a trap break, um, but you really don't want it to go back up there. You want this to basically finish up this right hand shoulder and then have a move um, through 57 or 55. Uh, we're not super excited just because yen crosses have been so dead recently, but if you're a technician, you can't ignore this. Um, Let's keep an eye on 89.55. Euro yen, same kind of sort of lethargic wait and see on this 120.77 level triple bottom. We traded down to 85 last night. Again, I just don't understand uh, why this doesn't just get trashed through 120.77, with the exception of the fact that it's just summer and nobody's trading. Uh, the Yanks are they're out at the Hamptons the Europeans are down in the south of France um, 
and it's just very very low interest uh, in foreign exchange at the moment but that said just got to keep your eye on the price here keep your keep a look on these headlines a lot of interesting silly stuff is going on with Iran um, we have debt ceiling issues that are kind of coming to the forefront here and could be any number of things obviously the last crisis kind of started around housing and debt we just have to keep an eye on all of these things and see um, if anything grabs hold and starts the new story anyway 12077 very very interesting let's look at cable Boris Johnson uh, looks like he's going to be the future prime minister not sure really what that means uh, nor do I care the recent lows are 123.83 we're right in the middle of nowhere here uh, euro sterling is the more interesting chart so we'll be watching that a little bit more closely um, not much to do in cable Aussie squeezing the long still good chance we get down below the figure today nothing to do here um, you know I really the chart is terrible if you're long I'd be careful here it's you know now it's confirmed back well through this 50 area um, and just go back to square and Aussie talked about gold yesterday too many tourists are in this market uh, this death knock of this pennant is all the way down at 12 today uh, with the dollar bid the way it is even though US 10-year yields are not that much higher we just expect more pain in the gold market there are too many too many people are long gold who don't have any idea what they're doing um, so expect to move back down through this 15 area with some more stops and probably this 02 area with some more stops and once we break the figure actually uh, we'll be buyers of gold um, again we talked about it yesterday we're fading sort of hysteria on the downside to get long we don't buy high ones we don't momentum trade this this is a point in a trend where both longs and shorts are getting screwed so you want to play uh, hysterical extensions on the side that you favor we favor gold longs we're just being patient we will have a look uh, below 1400 dollar max still waiting 1907 pretty meaningless overall but you can see again it's just this whole sideways action between sort of 1876 or really 1886 and 1910 you could see this is another sort of head and shoulders type pattern a lot of people have drawn this with this will attract a lot of attention when it gets down there with the dollar bid it doesn't look like today's the day but we're just watching it we'll have to see um, the problem with very very quiet markets a lot of patterns sort of appear just because the market's not moving a ton so you have all of this sideways consolidation you get a lot of these horizontal lines you get a lot of these head and shoulders patterns you get a lot of trend lines with a lot of touches you don't want to mistake uh, strong technical patterns with markets that are dead uh, and that's how I would describe this this market is dead uh, so you have to be real careful with these technical patterns and these stories make sure that patterns are matched up with stories and there's some energy if there isn't just stand down it's okay you know it's still in the middle of the summer here take a quick look at euro swiss because i know a few of our followers uh, are a little bit worried about this uh, dead cat bounce yesterday 0319 today everyone's expecting um, some sort of uh, illicit buying 
here at 110 the figure we don't have any evidence of it but as people who watch the Swiss market for 20 years this would be typical um, doesn't look like it's gonna hold to be fair looks like we're in this downtrend it is very worrying why people are piling in left hand side Euro Swiss we talked about this usually this means bad news on the global macro front it means we're gonna get some bad news on the terrorism front or I don't know uh, people smarter than me um, put these positions on but Euro Swiss price never lies so certainly this is not really you, even if you don't want to go on the conspiracy bandwagon and be like holy shit something bad's about to happen um, this will certain certainly temper any euphoria or any optimism um, Euro Swiss looks like crap uh, and that's that's never really good news for the world obviously we have the ECB on Thursday people are expecting a dovish one but this isn't an ECB play you know Swiss rates are minus 80 basis points who really gives a shit if um, Europe lowers theirs another 10 basis points anyway keep an eye on this we don't have uh, a dog in this fight but we are watching it to help us with story um, we'll see our focus our main focus today is just dollar cad top side we the um, will be playing dollar cad on the long side and we will be watching the patterns here in euro yen and in euro sterling um, to see if we get a break of these uh, support lines that we've been talking about now for for five or six days oh yeah quickly equities doing nothing floated higher yesterday just to screw some more people um, not much to do here my bias is left hand side only because of the Euro Swiss um, I don't know what would happen to make it go left it looks like it's just gonna sit here trade both sides if you want to be conservative you would sell a reach high one if you don't need to be conservative you would just sell between here and and 3000 with a stop uh, above 3011 which was Friday's open high um, 30.0975 was that click high um, at the open on Friday anyway that's all I got for you today uh, I wish you all luck and patience summer continues uh, but as July comes to a close we have ECB we have FOMC we've got PMIs tomorrow so save your bullets and historically uh, believe it or not August is usually quite a volatile month and so as always we hurry up and get ready hurry up and wait uh, whether this comes to fruition or not it doesn't matter we're paid to be prepared so let's get prepared mentally get your charts in order um, and be ready today doesn't look like it's the day uh, but we still are paid to be ready anyway anyway catch you guys tomorrow ciao